Okay, so the last of the building we've got to draw is this end one here. So if we have a look on the plans, we've got the length here, height wise, overall height we don't seem to have, unless I'm missing it on here. Doing it at the height of the door. Thinking this might be the height here 90 or 30, 23, 20. Okay, so let's start by creating a new drawing on. Base plane. Level point. This is so we can create a rectangle. There, what dimensions do we have? So we've got thirteen plus thirteen point six plus twenty one divided by two, so it's twenty three point eight long. these ones here. So four nine point five plus thirteen point six. So we can get twenty two point two Six point one five. That is massive. And I don't think, well, maybe it is right to the top actually. It's quite a height difference there. Okay, so it's freeze block construction, so we've got to draw that first. If we turn off those two, we'll draw on the front surface. So I think a freeze block, let's actually find out. So I'm going to do a bit of research on size with freeze block and come back. Okay, so I've done a bit of research, they're going to be the breeze box going to be three millimeters by uh, 0.5 millimeters. Make this correct. 1.1.45, 1.45 millimeters. And that's going to be the size of, of an average UK breeze block. I'm going to want to have a offset from that line and that line as 0.3 millimeters. That will create my mortar line. Um, I'm going to recess this inwards. 
1.3 millimeters. Fine. And then if I pattern that across the bill. projecting this onto the surface as well. Uh, horizontal vertical. Faces. Take that face, that face, that face. Take that face. Now I need to cut that in and then directly connect it to the Now Slightly. Now, all I've done is I've changed the height of that to 0 0.301.
So now we've got that second layer, we need to copy that all the way up. So if we do pattern, that feature, that feature, that feature, collection, upwards. So for ease, rather than copying this sketch across, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half and mirror the whole body. So if we look at the width of the, the roof here, I want that now on the bottom. Width of the bottom is 22.05, so if we split that by 11.025, In fact, the easiest way is probably just do a mid plane between front surface, back surface, click on OK, and then split body. Body to split is the main one, split and tall is that middle line there, click on OK. Get rid of, let's make sure we get rid of the right one. That one. So if we remove body 25, that's it, and then we can mirror body 26 on mid plane so we can join we've now got read block both sides turn that construction plane off so the next thing we need is this side wall's got breeze block construction as well Sketch on there. Dimension at no. So we actually want that to be three point three. Draw a one point three rectangle at the base there. Minus north point. Two nine nine. And hopefully the pattern. I think that might be a problem with that being there. Back into that sketch, get that sketch there, and draw a small box 0.3 by 0.3 there, and then edit the extrusion to include that little circle at the back. Draw 
ways all around things. So I did the feature being that one, direction sideways. I'm not worried too much about am, am I drawing the bonds in the correct place on each side because you, you're not going to notice them too much. Theoretically, actually, that should be shorter there. I am going to change that aspect because that one will be noticeable. Um, what can I say that for? It keeps the block was. The same as the height. One point four five. So the one point seven five, including that three mil for the length thing. Means I need to change this one. One point four five and one point four five there as well. Okay, so I think that's better. I have a look at the spectrums once I've got these lined up. Should be three. That's one point eight five. This brick is going to be look narrow from this view angle, but that side is going to be the side that we viewed as the front of the layout. But I'm happy where that is there. Next one, next object, draw the next course up. Okay, so if we go and press sketch on that front surface. millimeters by 0.3. This one's going to come down here. Three by dimension from there to there will be 0.3. Let's draw the ends. 0.1. Dimension wrong. Oh, that needs to be three mil further over.
over here. Okay, there we go. Yes, that's it. Bring more. Okay, so I need to get rid of this bit on the end here. Not a problem. Let's move that. That's what is what's causing edit feature. I saw that that one in a minute. That should be a minus, of course. Oops, that doesn't like that. Let's delete that. Remember the numbers of this. So we've got nineteen point eight and seven. So now we want to pattern that pattern that pattern that pattern that direction will be vertically. He's lined up here. Let's close them, I think. Let's put these in. So we've got three spots on that wall. That's three of them all lined up. Okay, still doesn't line up quite well. Uh, and this is not quite in the middle. Let's have a look at the pattern we had vertically here. So we did 24.485. Okay, so now we've got three walls, and then we're going to get the last one, same as before, using a mid plane between 
front surface there, back surface there, split the body, that's the main body to the front and back ends. That one, back the two ends now. If we remove 27 that is created, and then mirror. Now I've got a breeze box all the way around that building. Ooh, not liking what it's done to the middle there. Undo that. Why have we done that? Ah, yes. Okay. Cancel that. Let's undo that. That's not going to work doing that mirror in that direction. Okay, so have a little think about that one. Okay, so I've had a four, I'm going to try, but I'm going to create an offset plane here. And it's going to come back into the building by 0 0.35. Then I'm going to split the building using that plane. Copy that. Okay, copy. Spin it around nice and quickly, it works. Snap that to that. Okay. Put the bottom, that's fine. But ultimately, this, this side I'm not overly bothered about because most of it's going to butt up against these two buildings that we create. And you're going to cut the top off when we do the pointed roof. So we've got these, and then we can just combine those three together. I know I'm cheating, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to sort out the shape of the, the, diet, the pointed roof. Twenty mil from the top down. Great. Let's create an offset plane from its face, and we'll draw on that offset plane. Spec on that point to that point. So we've got 22.05, so it's going to be 11.025 from there to there. That should be the midpoint, so why don't we do that? Put that behind that as well. Um, and we'll say 20 mil from. There down a little bit. So if I continue that line down, into the faces, that's going to be the top. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to come up there. I'm going to do thirty.
to 3.15. Horizontal line cross. This currency is flat at one edge. Let me get some new on the XR. I've just drawn that box around so I can select that profile and get a loop for that. Okay, I just realised I haven't shelled this, so I'm just going to come back in the history to where we drew it. Okay. Create drawing on the bottom surface, offset it. Even I'm going to do a change. I'm doing an offset here rather than a shell because I need to go all the way through to the top. Okay, so now that we've got this shape, I'm going to look at drawing this panel here, which, again, if we come into Fusion, uh, we're going to have an offset plane from this surface, and we're just going to bring it out, say, 0 0.1 millimeter, and then we're going to create a sketch on that profile. So what I'm essentially going to draw is this here, so it's going to be 3.3 millimetre inward from that top surface. So if I find this midpoint, of that, if I project that point, that point, and that point, we're going to draw a line downwards, 3 point, no, it's going to be 1.65 millimeters. So we can photo. So it's going to come down and in. And I'm going to want this line to come down here like this. It needs to be parallel to that one. I delete this dimension because that's actually one dimension. I need distance from there to there to be 1.65. That's what I'm after. That will automatically be 1.65 because that's defined at the top here. Okay, so the shape we're now looking for is down slightly and across. Now on the sketch at all, not really, there's no measurement for that. So we're going to wing that slightly. I'm going to come down by one millimeter and then I'm going to come across. I'm going to go all the way across the model. And close that off like that. And then I should get, he's hoping, the 
to profile once I've drawn that there. That to there. Okay, yeah, I'll just profile there and that one there. If I extrude this across this side and then add 0 0.1 millimeter to that and tell it to join. Okay, so that's giving me that side profile there. It's corrugated, so we're going to do the same corrugation on this top surface. This one might be harder because of how it runs. Although, maybe theoretically, if I could just mirror that cross, and then I might arc. the wrong surface to sketch on. Delete that. I want to do a plane at an angle from it needs to be 90 degrees to this one. If I do that That angle there is one three two, so I need one three two point two from one eighty. So that should be a nice degree angle in there now. I can create that sketch on there with my arcs. And it's not quite checking that point there. Add P, check that line through, and then arc, we can arc. See if I can tangent that up then. Oh, no, I guess I can. I think I can. Same arc, we can arc there. And I can draw across. Make sure it snaps down and then tangent. This is an extrude upwards. So I can just make sure it goes all the way to the top. Although it shouldn't matter because I'm going to be putting a large circuit on the top here. So I can join. Put that sketch back again. And that's there. angles not right because that should have extruded it. Okay. 
cos is 132.2. Let's try looking at this a different way. Create that up there. Dimension up there. Sort of fitting in here. Maybe if we put this one here, we need a white and a plain. Okay, let's edit that. Let's go back. So there's our corrugated pattern again. I'm going to pattern those. So that feature in, that feature in that direction. Okay, so we've got that. And we should be able to hopefully mirror the features. So let's look at that. That there, that there, that there. So mirror plane, we've got a midpoint plane. Let's just find it. there. Okay, and that should then put those onto the other side. Yep, good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw on here is there's a large 
like circuits and pieces and all that. So I can create a sketch on this one surface. Center point circle on the midpoint there. I'm going to use it for 1.5 millimeters. I'm going to extrude a whole circle, uh, two sides, and I found the outputs are a 0.5. The other side, I'm going to drag across uh, this surface. Join. Okay, that'll be that center ridge there then. Is that okay? Yeah, it's quite large, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, put the drains on. So create a sketch on here. The same sort of thing. Or find the distance. I think we did 0.6 millimeters last time. I'm going to offset that by 0.3. No, and then go minus 7 millimeters. I'm going to split it into two so that it has to extrude. Across the building. Ah, I can't edit that. Take a join. Go to the drain. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here because it's been quite a long one so far. This, these two buildings, and I'll come back and do the last building in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this and please make sure you subscribe to make sure you get notified when the next one comes up. Probably going to be tomorrow. Okay, so the next thing we need to start thinking about drawing is these windows. So if we look at the, the sketches, that's 19.2, that's 21. I'm going to say they're pretty much the same window, um, same number of paints on each side. So I'm going to do them identical just for ease. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw on the inside surface of the front here. And slice that so you can see what we're looking at. And draw a rectangle in there like that. Okay, so if we look at the dimensions, so the height of the window we've got is 8.3, so we're going to do 4.15. length of the windows here is 21 so that's 10.5 okay and then position if we go from this edge here it's 13 so 6.5 millimeters from the end here from there it doesn't matter whereabouts when you click on there as long as it's the end it's 6.5 there um, and then we're going to be looking at height um, what we've got height wise here no height specified there. No height specified on that side either. Let's have a look. Take out that. Try ninety five. Extrude this through. Have a look at this position height wise relative to this slot here. So it's probably in line with the frame on that, that one. Yes, I think we put it there or thereabouts. Okay, so we'll do the same on that surface there to do the identical. Slice through. 
and I was told the same dimensions, so we said the height was 4.15. Was twenty one, so ten point five. And we want to do all the drop off position lines here. So twenty one, so ten point five from that end as well. And then looks the same. extrude this all the way through. Okay, so that's our basic window cutouts now. So now what I'm going to do is draw the frames, but I'm going to draw them as a separate body. So if I draw on the back surface here, and slice so we can see through, let's, so we've got this profile here, we're going to offset it inwards by 0.4 to create the frame itself. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put a rectangle down the middle here. And I want it to be, if I do a center point rectangle actually, find the center point. I want the height to be 0.4 and I want the ends to snap to the end like that and the same on that side. Um, I'll do the uprights in a second. If I select that and that, extrude forwards by minus 0 0.5 to create a new body click on OK let's create a sketch back on that frame again slice through so we can see it and we're going to want the centre point rectangle again find the midpoint of this of the whole window. It's a midpoint there, midpoint there, so everyone else should look in the other point. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll do a little way to do just a normal rectangle, go down like this, and I'll not put too wide. Delete that. Right, start that again. Find the midpoint. Three point three five high is fine. Do the same rectangle on the other side. Too wide. Select these. that minus 0.5 again and we want that to be a new body as well okay the reason I want this one to be a new body is because I want to pattern it now because there's uh, six panes in total I'm going to pattern that body in that direction Point four looks okay, three of them, click on OK. Same pattern again on that body there, direction that way. Point four. And then I'm going to combine, I don't want that body, all, oops, I want to combine that with all of that lot. So I've now got this window frame. 
can now copy that, paste it. And I'm going to bring the brackets across. If I do point to point and put, let's see if I can work my way around that corner. So I've now got the frame in both sides. I'm going to combine them at that point. The next thing I want is to have window sills top and bottom on them. Okay, so this is the sort of thing we're looking for window sill wise. So if we draw on this surface, create a sketch. Slice that through the ball, a couple of rectangles, 0.5 thick, and let's dimension that to that. Four, that direction, and 0.7 that direction. Seven on that end. If we draw the same rectangle in line here. Five thick, and then I can use the vertical constraint to constrain that to that. That to that. And the dimension from there to there, height wise, is not four. Extrude these two forwards. And then I want them to fire across the corner so they can join. Okay, that's our window sill, top and bottom. If we do the same on this face here. Seven and then the vertical constraint that to that to that and then we can extrude these two. Um, I think I'm happy with how that's looking. Okay, so I think the last thing we need to do is add on this doorway that's been blocked up here. If you look at the plans, uh, it's on this side here. So it's a uh, 4.75 wide. If we have a look, we can draw it on this inside surface here. If we slice it all the way through to be able to see it. Four point seven five wide and height wise. Paul's got it as thirty mil, but there's a vent at the top. I'm not going to bother drawing the vent. Um, so I'm going to do it as twelve millimeters high. Position wise, two mil from the side. Okay, and then I'm going to just 
extrude that through to that surface as it joins as a flat surface to work on. Okay, and then we've got to draw on that surface. So let's get that doorway drawn back on. Bits of this. I'm going to go, uh, let's go 1.5 wide, 1.5, and 1.5. Okay, the next course of bricks is all end on. So that can be 0.5 pi and 1.3 and I might do something around the edge in the pattern feature feature there direct change to vertical Come up 10.7 and I've done nine of the features. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to do something round the outside, I think. So if we sketch, if we have four, that one, I think. Let's spin that round. Okay, uh, let's create a new sketch on that surface. And we're going to pro I'm going to project. Offset one by one by one by one by one. How do I do this? My three. Okay, and then offset that and that. Can't do that. That's too broad. Bottom from there. Okay, to close it, tilt and then extrude that one. Point five to two inch. So we can see. Yes, I'm happy with that. So we've got like a, a doorway that's been through cut there. Okay, I'm happy with how this is turning out here. I think that's you know, probably that model complete. You know, there's some detail and stuff that I'm going to do around here, but that'll be a separate item. I'll print them separately. So if we have a look at what we've got at the top here, we've got three bodies, each of them being separate. You can either draw, print them independently, you've got three separate buildings there, um, or I'm going to combine them all and print them all as one piece here. They're going to be one model on the, the layout, they're not going to move or split apart, so for me they're going to be three, three joined together. And then in the inside here I've just put a little sheet of perspex, you know, some of that clear plastic you get off of wrapping, and then just create the windows, obviously after we paint it. And that's probably a couple of hours long to do to design that building. You know, I'll print that off and then you know, that's done and dusted. And, you know, you could have as many of those as you wanted. And this is going to be you know, pretty accurate. You know, you'd be struggling to do this with plastic iron in a couple of hours. Um, and you know, the, some of the, cle the edges here will be much cleaner 3D printed. Some of the details like these hinges you shouldn't be able to do very easily. So I'm happy with how that's turned out. I'm pleased that I'm going to print that off as a test piece and we'll see how it looks. So I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of episodes. If you have, please press the like and subscribe button.